if you're a British person talking about we have too many immigrants, man, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You have absolutely no right to talk about immigration. Greetings and welcome to Caribbean Vanguard. I came across a video of this UK man throwing a tantrum over Nigerian immigrants in the UK. He has an issue with Nigerians migrating to UK. And so he called upon white people and British people to take actions against it. Directly after him talking though, an African man neatly put him in his place. So an overbearing group of intimidating Nigerians that were being taught a lot of anti-white rhetoric at the local sports hall. These Nigerians that have been come there that say that they were being taught that when you come to any country, doesn't matter where it is, you put your Nigerians first, you put all your group first before anything else. And they were teaching them lots of other stuff, which was quite threatening and very anti-white, very anti-British. Um, and it was all about, because they've stopped um, them, one worker comes and then brings loads of their family with them. What they were trying to do was work out more and more ways of how to get more and more of their Nigerians from over there into jobs over here. And they were doing courses about this and how this could happen. The thing is, they just want to make sure that every part of our country is flooded with people who don't look like us and don't act like us and certainly don't want to assimilate. I mean, they made it quite clear. They, the attitude that they gave to white people there was a very, very threatening one. But these people had no intention. And you could see it in their body language, you could see it there, the way they portrayed themselves, you could see it in their rhetoric, what they were saying. So this is what you've got to come. The truth of the matter is that if you haven't experienced diversity is our strength, which is the biggest load of crap I've ever heard, if you haven't heard that or felt it yet, you're going to. Into the tiniest recesses of the country, they intend to flood us. Basically, they're going to outbreed us. But the facts are this. If you haven't done anything yet, if you haven't thought about the future, if you think I'm all right, Jack, you're not. None of you are. It'll come for you. All right, and you'll have them live next door to you. They'll have them because they will put them in every part of the community. It doesn't matter what the rent is, okay? Don't think that because we live in an expensive area, we won't get them. You will, and the taxpayer will be funding them. So think about that. You might actually want to think about getting off your ass and doing stuff that's more proactive than just sitting there thinking, well, I'm all right. I'll be dead by the time this actually gets anywhere near this. It's ramping up. It's happening so quick that it will be in your locality within the next 10 years. 10 years time when you're older and more infirmed and these people are all around you, right? And they're running your neighborhood. You won't be able to do anything then. So there you go. To the Europeans that are always telling um non-europeans to leave their country go back to your country go back to your country if we leave your countries will your governments will your companies leave our countries as well if the answer is yes then i'm happy to if you're from france to the french people telling you know people that they deem as not french to leave france go back to your country will france leave africa alone will france leave asia alone latin america alone caribbean alone will you because a lot of a lot of a lot of French people don't understand that you are as powerful as you are today because your country, France, literally has its its, its hands, legs and, and tongue deep inside Africa. Especially Francophone Africa. You are France because of your access you have to these countries. So if you are telling if you are telling Africans to leave France that you colonized and inter interfered with then France should leave Africa. And we know that's not happening. And if, as long as France is not leaving Africa, we are not leaving France. We are not leaving the UK. If you're a British person talking about we have too many immigrants, man, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You have absolutely no right to talk about immigration as a British person. You are literally the British, you, you are Great Britain. You colonized people's lands. You took over people's governments, invaded their space, eradicated the natives. And you're talking about we have too many immigrants. Too much immigration meanwhile you guys were the one that started this process you are you are the original invaders you came into africa with no visa you came into you know latin america with no visa with nothing you came by yourself nobody invited you and you're still there you are <laughs> you, you are deep into the politics you are deep into the economy you are destabilizing government your government across europe different european countries and one more thing just because your country did not colonize actively does not mean your country is not currently benefiting from africa as it is or or or, or, or latin america Okay, most of your countries are powerful today because of the subjugation and, and involvement 
in this country's operation day to day. So don't you dare come online and talk about we have too many immigrants, especially if you're from France, UK, Spain, Portugal, Germany. Don't you dare, or Belgium as well, Netherlands. Don't you dare talk about we have too many immigrants. You deserve it. We are here to stay. We are coming more. Because we know one thing for sure. Your countries are not going to leave Africa alone. So why the fuck should we as Africans leave Europe alone? You started this. We were chilling in the continent. You guys came with your boats. Oh, the, 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 the dark continent. Blah, blah. Nobody, called you, nobody told you to come to the dark continent. We're not a dark continent. You came with your propaganda, with your selfish interests. And now you happened to destabilize these countries. So we are coming. We are coming with boats. We are coming with planes. We are coming with trains. We are coming and we are here to stay. You can go far right all you want. We are here. We are here to stay. We deserve to be here and we are going to be here. And yes, I said it. And we deserve to be here because your countries invaded our lands. Your countries are still in our lands, interfering with our governments, destabilizing government. Look at Congo, who's doing all these things. It's your government. The guy, the guy in Burkina Faso has survived almost 10 coup attempts, sponsored by you guys. And you're telling us to go back to our countries. Man, you must be dumb. The UK man calls them an overbearing, intimidating group of Nigerians a pervasive group of Nigerian who are being taught to put their group first before anything else and that they are also being taught a lot of stuff that was quite threatening and anti-white and anti-British. Unless he knows something that he's not telling us, these are the only example that he gave for why white people should fear for their life. The first example is Nigerians will soon be your next door neighbor, whether you're rich or poor. And the second example is, they will flood the UK. This to him is anti-white. This to him is anti-British. Nigerians not bowing down to him are kissing his rear, is anti-white, and is a hateful rhetoric to this UK man. Not one time did he mention any threat or plans to commit violence against white people are British people. He simply doesn't like those particular Nigerians for the reasons that I mentioned. They do not worship him. They are confident. They are comfortable in who they are and they are forward moving people. I would imagine that he knows his people better than any outsiders. So I'm a bit curious as to why he's so confident that in telling his people to fear for their lives because Nigerians would soon be their neighbor would somehow scare them into taking action.